I got a message on my phone saying that she had uh, passed away and uh, everything went crazy. My phones, texts, Facebook, everything went crazy. And so I got an emergency flight back home and uh, it was, a, as you can imagine, it was an emotional time. I couldn't go home because the paparazzis were outside my house. And um, so I had been working on the album and uh, I went to my producers just to get away because they wouldn't know I was there and I had been working there for a while. And I recorded this song. And it wasn't really for anybody to hear. Um, it was just a way of me just expressing myself. And uh, I remember crying in the booth while I was singing this song. And um, a year later, my friend said, why don't you put it out? And I was like, uh, it wasn't really for that. And they said, no, I think you should put it out. So I put it out, it's called You Let Me Breathe, and it's, uh, it's, um, it's out, it's on YouTube, and you can also get it outside. So, that was a few years ago. Then after that, my sister, who was 34 years old, died of cancer. And um, it was really hard because I came from touring the world of Amy, brushing shoulders with the A-lists and uh, the prospects of her signing me to a label. So the idea of, oh, you're gonna tour and Amy was, you know, invested in me. Uh, I had a big management and a big record company, but Amy was the motivation behind everybody making it happen, you know? So, then my sister got cancer, and so I had to stop doing music for a year, and uh, I looked after her for about nine months, and she passed away, leaving three children, which I now look after. Me, my mum, my brother, we look after her children. And so, uh, what you guys are now seeing is me rebuilding from no longer working and touring and losing Amy and losing my sister and then becoming a dad, you know? But I knew that it was important for them to, uh, that even if you fall down, you have to get back up, you know? So this is, uh, thank you. So, the, uh, the experience through working with Amy just taught me to be honest. Before, I was just trying to create music just to allow people to just, just to be famous. Now I don't really care. Now I make what I feel really connects with me and it's, so it happened, it's now connecting with more people. <laughs> it's funny that. You try, try, try a certain way, that doesn't work. Just be yourself and it works, you know? So. So I just want to say, if you guys are going through stuff, use me as a beacon. I've gone through a lot. It's been the hardest four years of my life, but I'm here and I'm going to continue to grow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is You Let Me Breathe. Oh. By the way, uh, my sister's name was Amika Simonke. And today is the three years since she passed away on the 19th of March. So I'm going to dedicate this song for my sister and also for Amy.